Hey, welcome to John's Guitar Lab. Today we're going to do a tune, My Blue Heaven. It was written 1927. It's a great tune. It was uh, used in the Ziegfeld Follies. I'm sure nobody remembers that, but you know, it's something you want, might want to Google. Anyway, uh, let's go straight ahead here. We're going to do, as you can see, it's up on the board. The introductions, D7, G7, C, and G7. Straight ahead, nice and easy. Okay, listen up. Two, three, four. tune okay let's just pick out a few spots here as to what I'm doing and where I'm doing it um, the introduction is the top four bars that's pretty much straight ahead no particular situation there uh, when you get into that first line I'm doing the C chord and then the F if you notice when I'm doing the F chord getting a shot of this you'll see I'm not using the bar but I am sort of playing it where I'm leaving my finger on the C here and just bringing the pinky underneath and then playing the F that way okay that lets that C note ring out makes a little bit cleaner change than I mean both are all right here you're playing with the C note, it stays in. If you play it the other way where it's the C, then you have the A. So, you know, again, work it this way because it's going to be good practice. All right, but you have two options, all right? Ba -da. Or ba But it's good to do, learn it both ways. Then as we move down, when we get to the third measure, you'll see the C, and then I'm doing the G minor here. Now, you can bar it, but also what I've been doing here, instead of barring it, I'm just playing the five notes. You see it right there? All right, that's one way to do it. Uh, for those of you having trouble with the bar, you could play just the three notes or the four notes using the D opened. All right, but preferably, then it goes to the A7. Right, that's pretty much the, the only, I guess, snafu part in here that's, uh, you know, that might grab you. Uh, the rest of it is, you know, again, straight ahead. You could see I have on the turnaround where we come back to the introduction or back to the beginning of the tune, I have the C, A7, D minor, G7, uh, as opposed to the A7, if you want, you could use the A minor. Again, just little things that are going to add some color to it. All right. Again, this tune is pretty much straight ahead. Uh, the 
only thing that I'm suggesting is when you play in the G minor this way and the F chord this way, because that that's pretty much what I'm what I'd like to do is set you up for another song that we're going to be doing in the very near future, where we're going to be doing the rhythm just on these pretty much inside these four strings. Okay, we're going to not really use the the two E's. All right, so if you think about it, just you know, work it out where you do doing these. All right. Any questions about that? You know, comments below. Enjoy this. It's really a fun tune. All right. Uh, again, give me that thumb, subscribe, the whole nine yards, and comments below with your questions, and I'll get back to you. Listen, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.